All right, it's a high school football Friday night. We are going to start in class 6 a South Point hosting Williams Field. It's a battle of three and three teams who are anything but average. South Point plays a tough schedule with a lot of the top Phoenix area teams. Pack stands for homecoming for the Lancers. We got there with a score 14 nothing South Point in the second. Williams Fields Travis Ebner with a shovel pass to Britton Stan for a touchdown. South Point still led by seven at homecoming, halftime, the parade, the 50th anniversary of the 1972 graduates, looking good. Third quarter, Ebner going to the air, but intercepted by South Point's Amison Sanchez. Lancers regain control of this game, and it is Fredo Sotelo to Nate Spivey. South Point goes on for the win, 31-14 to improve to four and three. All right, we bring in Brianna Isbell right now for our game of the week. It was Sunnyside at Marana, and this was a Tigers high-powered offense against the Sunnyside uh, Blue Devils' a stingy defense, Brianna. Yes, Sunnyside comes in after shutting out its last three opponents. It hasn't done that since 2007. It was a full house for the Marana Tigers' homecoming game, and it was also a homecoming for Marana grad and Arizona's left tackle, Jordan Morgan. Starting off, no score in the first quarter, that's when Marana quarterback Elijah Joplin fakes the handoff, escaping the Blue Devil defense for a 30-yard touchdown run. A missed extra point puts the Tigers on the board, 6-0. Picking up later in the second quarter, with less than a minute on the board, Sunnyside still trailing 6-0. Joplin looks for his favorite target and finds him. Wide receiver Desmond Robick for a 70-yard touchdown pass, stretching the Tigers' lead 13-0. Robeck has actually been offered a scholarship by Arizona's receivers coach, Kevin Cummings. In the end, Sunnyside's defense just didn't make the stops they normally do. The Marana Tigers beat the Blue Devils 21-6 to improve 6-1 overall and 2-0 in the 5A Sonoran. Marana's win means they are all alone and first place in the Class 5A Sonoran division. That's because Flowing Wells lost tonight. Yeah, that was an upset down in Nogales. The Apaches get a big win over the Caballeros. Okay, thank you, Brianna. The other game featuring two teams with winning records tonight. We've got Pueblo at CDO. To Oro Valley we go. No score in the first quarter. And it is the Warriors' Diego Ramirez to Miguel Moriero for the touchdown. And that makes it 7-0 for Pueblo. CDO coach just Dustin Peace going for career win number 101. Dorado QB Tristan McClellan, though, to Chance Cassell for the touchdown. The Dorados win 49-14. They are 6-1 on the season. Now we bring in, not Brianna, but this time we're bringing in Kyler. Not yeah. for weather, but because <laughs> his son Wyatt got the first start tonight at mm -hmm. quarterback for Tucson. And you must be a proud dad uh, having Wyatt get his first start tonight. Oh, absolutely. Would, I would like to see him get a little more playing time. It was kind of a rough night for the yeah, Badgers Sounds out there. like a dad, right? All yeah, right, exactly. So let's take a look how they did against <laughs> uh, Desert View. Wyatt wears uh, number 18. He was at the Manning camp this fall, right, Kyle? Yeah, he sure was. Eli and Peyton Manning down there in Louisiana had a good time, learned a lot of stuff. All right, there's you and your wife, Maggie. Yeah, I know uh, those guys. Excited, a little nervous, though. Okay. Check it out. How's he doing here? First to complete pass. Well, you know what? He didn't make any mistakes here, so uh, that's a good thing. And he throws a nice sideline pass there, completed it for eight yards. So, uh, yeah, looking good. Save that football. Unfortunately, though, <laughs> Anthony Estrella to Justin Busio and Desert View wins this game 42-10 over Tucson High. Maybe yeah. another shot, though, at home next week against Buena, right? Yeah, exactly. You know what? There's always hope, and the guys play hard. I tell you, they got a lot of great guys on that football team. They never give up. Kyler, I think Wyatt's got a good stroke. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. you know what? As, as a dad, yeah. you think your son always throws a great <laughs> ball, but he really does. He broke my finger a few years ago. Oh, boy, so, he spins it yeah. tight, as they say. All right, Kyler, thank you. All right. Let's finish it off with Push Ridge Christian okay. and Palo Verde. Push Ridge Christian uh, used to actually be Palo Verde Christian, the Crusaders back in the 1990s. Some trivia for you. Uh, the Palo Verde Titans were a little overmatched in this one. Jamal Chapman's team taking on the Lions, who led a quarterback by Bubba Mustaine. Already 15-0 in the first quarter. He finds Bryson Barrios for the touchdown. Push Ridge Christian wins this game. Final score, 69 to nothing. And it is a bye week, uh, Brianna and Heidi, for uh, Arizona football.